Hello everyone and welcome back to Mass Effect 3. This is part 6. This is part 6. Already six parts into Mass Effect 3. It feels pretty wild that we're already this far in. Um, and last time we uh, we ran around the Citadel doing stuff for Arya to unite the mercenaries. Uh, and then we also um, did a little brief trip to Dr. Bryson's lab to do some investigative detective work with Edie um, and then we're putting a pin in that mission until later uh, and then we went to Grissom Academy reunited with uh, with Jack which was so good that was so good to see and we have we have a lot more to do uh, where I can go and drop off some stuff on the Citadel like we picked up we picked up the biotic amp interfaces um, in Grissom Academy um, I'll also run around explore some some systems and such we'll, we'll see how we go uh, but while we're here in the war room uh, we can check the new assets we've got we've got a whole bunch uh, last episode so let's run through so we've got new alien and alliance uh, for the military strength here so alien terminus fleet is an assortment of mercenary vessels and pirate ships bound together by little more than common geography and a fear of the reapers Despite this volatile mix, the fleet seems to be functioning as one under the leadership of criminal warlord Arya Talok. Updated, the Blood Pack's mercenaries have been compared to floods, wildfires, and other calamities. It recruits Krogan and Vorcher, preferably those with no regard for collateral damage. On the rare occasion when brute force is insufficient, the Blood Pack is willing to deploy weapons of mass destruction normally banned in Citadel space. The Eclipse Corporation, uh, Corporation specializes in smart security solutions, developing tactics around surgical strikes, sabotage, and electronic warfare. These mercenaries are supported by a sizable army of combat mechs and rely heavily on tech for support in combat. So we will be looking at getting the Blue Suns as well. Obviously, we have to find some sort of artifact uh, to then uh, give to a merchant who will then allow weapons to be sold to... Uh, Mr. Person Man, who I have forgotten the name of, you know, Mr. Mr. Guy, you know, the Turian guy, Mr. Man, uh, who will then use those weapons and drop his chase against the Blue Sun so they can help us out. Uh, we've got a Spectre unit. Spectres are the left hand of the Citadel, enforcing laws and stopping crimes with galactic repercussions. While Spectres usually work alone, the Reaper threat gave cause for these extraordinary agents to assemble in an elite unit capable of operating in enemy territory without backup. Spectre John Dumbau, while not their official leader, is the group's spokesperson. He has passed on important intelligence gathered by the unit to Hackett and the Fifth Fleet. And then we've got Hanar and Drell forces. Uh, the Hanar have sent their warships to engage the Reapers to repay Commander Shepard for saving their homeworld. Though their navy is relatively small, the Hanar have also provided the services of their best Drell combat specialists. They are accomplished spies, saboteurs, and assassins trained at an extremely young age. While the Hanar are norm normally loath to send trusted allies into open warfare, these are desperate times. A metagel formulated especially for the Hanar has been distributed to Hanar civilians and fleet captains. So that's our alien um, force at the moment. We've got the 103rd Marine Division. The old saying, every Marine is a rifleman still holds true in the Alliance. Every Marine enlistee from clerk to sniper goes through a period of infantry training. So we've got some officers from notable bal battles, such as the Skillian Blitz and the First Contact War, run harsh training exercises in a variety of environments, insisting Marines be prepared to storm any beach on any planet. This training has been useful in the Reaper Wars. The 103rd can be fighting in an Arctic desert one week, crawling through jungles the next. Biotic students from the Grism Academy have joined the 103rd Marine Division as a support unit. The students focus their biotics into barriers that shield the Marines and help control the flow of the battlefield. So support makes the most sense for those, in my opinion. That's what we chose uh, last time when we went to... Uh, that's what we chose last time. Um when we went to Grism Academy. First Lieutenant Kaylee Sanders joined Grism Academy's board of directors after she gave up her military career. When the Cerberus raid on the Academy was thwarted by Commander Shepard, Sanders joined with Alliance engineers working to recreate the Prothean device found on Mars. Her past work as a systems technician, specifically studying synthetic intelligence, has helped decode some of the complex feedback systems that control the weapon's energy output. Some of Grissom Academy's more technically minded students were saved from Cerberus by Commander Shepard. They've met up with Sanders, contributing their brain power to some of the problems she's been tackling. And David Archer is another refugee from Grissom Academy working on the device. Despite his youth, Archer's theories on interstellar cross-modulation have won him respect with the project's scientists. I've got Jack. Formerly known as Subject Zero, may be the most talented biotic of her time. After helping Shepard destroy the Collectors, she was offered a teaching position at Grissom Academy by the Alliance. 
Accepting the position for reasons of her own, Jack continued to hone her skills while chaining her students. Grissom Board of Directors member Kaylee Sanders has vouched for Jack's energetic, if unorthodox, teaching style, impressed with the inroads made with the children under the Rogue Biotics care. So if I'm seeing this right, having Jack in our war asset might mean she's not a squad mate or hanging out on the Normandy, but probably on the Citadel off screen doing stuff, maybe. Maybe not in the Citadel. The Citadel aren't really uh, acknowledging the war right now, are they? Um, same with Kasumi, I guess, but we'll have a look. Uh, we've got the Naval Exploration Flotilla. We've got the Fifth Fleet. A pair of entrepreneurs were persuaded to switch from creating financial programs to advanced weapon targeting VIs and to sell them to the Alliance just above cost. There's Kasumi, there we go, is wanted in over a dozen systems for sabotage, hacking, theft, and a laundry list of other crimes. The Alliance is willing to overlook Goto, uh, Goto's indiscretions in exchange for her help with the Crucible. In addition to her expertise with electronic security systems, Goto can acquire important technology thought lost or stuck deep in enemy territory. No one dares ask how she acquired these items. So yeah, I guess, uh, well, we have Diana Ola's chilling out on the Normandy I guess, but I wonder if anyone else will be. We will have to have a look uh, and see. I know that we can uh, check in with um, our lovely um, ex-Cerberus engineers in the engineering deck, so we will do that. Uh, we will do that. Of course, Commander. <laughs> yes, of course. Uh, so we'll do that. We'll go to the engineering deck so I can at least... Because we, we released them from prison... Back. Yeah, that's a great plan. Unread yeah. Private terminal, Commander. Follow war with more war. I'm like, Jesus Christ, that was a bit of a bold statement. You want to chill out a bit? Uh, engineering. Hello, hello, hello. Gabby, Yay! Oh, I knew this was Gabby and Donnelly. I just mean, it's an amazing work of engineering. Elastic titanium silicon polymers. Ultra light harmonic phased power cells. Mm-hmm. <laughs> If she ever accidentally walks into a wall, there's just so much padding. Ugh, I knew it. Wish I were a wall. You pretty sure. much are, Kenneth. Kenneth and Gabby. There we go. Donnelly and Daniels. They're back! It's great to be back. Nothing to report. It was good to be in an Alliance uniform again. Commander. Nothing to report. I love that they're I love that they're back. That's great. Need anything, Commander? How's Engineer Donnelly working out? The kid's got talent. Now if he could just learn to shut his damn mouth. Problems? I'm sorry, Commander. Donnelly is dedicated, knowledgeable, and thinks on his feet. I'm glad to have him on my team. Could use a lesson or two about respecting chain of command, but I've handled the likes of him before. No need for concern. How's Engineer Daniels working out? Her, I like. She's sharp and knows propulsion theory better than most physicists I've met. And she's easy to work with, too. Always said you had an eye for talent. Good job bringing her back to the Alliance. Nice. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, ma'am. So, that's nice that we got some more discussion points to talk about now that they're back in here. That's good. I like that. I told you Shepard would come visit. That's because Shepard cares. I love that. Oh. Ah! Ah! Space hamster! <laughs> He's just squeaking! I got my space hamster back! Okay, I came down here to see if Jack was here, but Javik's here. Right. This does solve all of my problems, doesn't it? This solves all of my problems with the elevator because this makes much more sense. Alright, so I can see where people are. <sighs> that means that previously, when Primarch Victus wasn't in the war room, he might have been somewhere else. Because I was like, oh, he's not here. Maybe he just literally disappeared. Um, okay. No, that's cool, actually. This makes so much more sense than where they are in the elevator. So they actually move around because you, my friend, are not where you were supposed to be. 
You're in Jack's place. With my space hamster. Commander, I was exploring your ship. Find anything interesting? This space has absorbed much anger. The biotic instructor from the academy. Right. These were Jack's quarters. Traces of her pain are still present. I'm told she sought revenge against Cerberus when she was here. A goal you helped fulfill. I hope you will do the same for me. At least I have better quarters. He's a bit he's a bit of a rough around the edges kind of guy, and it makes so much sense. Dude literally went to sleep in the middle of a war, woke up fifty thousand years later to all of it being over, and now he has he's back in the war again with a species or multiple species that he considers lesser than him because in his time they were primitive races. Fifty thousand years ago, what were humans doing, right? Um we were going Ooga Booga. Um Unga Bunga, caveman, not really, but you know what I mean. It was, it was, we were not advanced in any capacity. Um, and he's like, oh, right. So my Prothean Empire that was going to win the war against the Reapers is gone. I can understand how he'd be a little bit. I, he's like, he has a, he has a very understandable and realistic personality. Um, hopefully we can just be friends, right? Hopefully, like, I'm taller than you. Respect my authority, okay? That's what I'm gonna say. During our fight against the Reapers, we had no time for teaching the young anything but war. Certainly dominance by being probably two centimeters taller than you. Maybe one centimeter, two if we're being generous. Remember that. Only the foolish mourn the loss of innocence. It is inevitable. The galaxy has never rewarded the naive. Commander. 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 Thank you. I demand respect by running circles around you. I have a space hamster. Um, I guess we can go back to my room. Um, that means... We've got James and Cortez in the armory as usual. They're just still kind of chilling in there. Um, I don't think we've spoken to people since returning here yet, uh, from the end of last episode after Grissom Academy, so we will, um, check out some other places on the ship, as well as going back to our quarters to, uh, be like, hey, space hamster, back where you belong. So someone raided my ship, uh, someone, like, I know that the ship was under, like, renovations and, like, stuff like that, but that means someone specifically went into my crew quarters, let my space hamster out, and scattered all my ship models all around the ship. City of four million blasted from orbit. Adelaide, Australia is no more. New footage from Earth reveals the Reaper's plans to attack large industrial centers. Which cities are next? Find out inside the battle space. My hometown? No! Why? Why would you target that one specifically again? <laughs> oh my god, that's ridiculous. Also, just like, that was like the most bland news report. Just like, find out next on the battle space. Cerberus stealthily strikes star system shield. No, glad I read that one out loud. Do we need to talk, Commander? Get off my ship. Not right now, Allers. Let me know when we do. Okay. How dare she do that report? My hometown. <laughs> Gone. Alright, let's go into the to elevator. We'll go check on everyone else. Yes. Space hamster. My boy is back. I'm missing a ship in there. I got a bunch to put in here. Look at my look at my amazing look at my amazing little ecosystem going on in here. That's great. While we're here with the armor locker, we're putting on a helmet. Uh, oh, that's awful. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> I'll just run with the breather helmet to be honest, and then my helmet goes off in cutscenes, so that's fine, but <laughs> I was like, oh, that's not the visor that I thought. And then we've only got the Cerberus Ajax armor. I'm gonna say, no thank you. 
Uh, we've got different stats here than go with. So we get a full health boost with the normal armor, or I can split that into shield regen or power damage, or I might go shield regen. Just our, it's just going to take our health down a bit. Weapon damage, headshot damage, um, melee damage, weapon damage, or help, yep. Uh, weapon damage. I'll keep my health with a bit, little bit of shield regen, at least for now. I know I'll get more armor sets and whatever uh, in future along the way, but there's my there's my helmet. That's that done. Hamster's back and feeling feeling very secure. Uh, let's head to the shuttle bay. We'll speak to my friends down here. Can I? Hey there. So, yep, there's the K9 that kind of does nothing. That's, that's cool. Cortez is here now. He's moved a bit. Everything okay with the shuttle? Just double checking the inertia dampener coils. It can be twitchy in these UT 47s. But don't worry, this bird's been rock solid. I always see you down here working your ass off. Ever take any downtime? I get my sleep, Commander. Flying tired is nearly worse than flying drunk. What about your waking hours? Any R&R? &R? I need to keep myself busy. Otherwise, well, too much time to think. I appreciate your dedication, but I don't want to see you burn out. I know my limits. I wouldn't take a chance with your life. Respect, Cortez. So before this war, you must have done something to relax. Sure. I remember back when the Hawking was based out of Arcturus and I was just a fighter jock. There's this observation deck overlooking the main flight paths. You could watch every ship taxi in and out. When I was alone, I'd turn off the auditory emulators and just watch them drift by in silence. You know there are views like that on the Citadel. Next time we're there, you should take some shore leave. Clear your head. I don't know. Maybe. Do it for me, bud. Take some time off on the Citadel, Steve. As a favor to me. If you put it that way, how can I say no? You exactly. can't. <laughs> Commander, I feel terrible about leaving you on Grissom Academy like that. I did order you to leave. Yeah, it doesn't make me feel any better. I'm just glad it all worked out. Just one more diagnostic suite. Ma'am. Ma'am. Um, cool, so I guess that means when we go back to the Citadel, we should be able to see him. He'll be off the ship somewhere, we can talk to him. Which is pretty cool. We've got a whole bunch of shops now, but again, 10% markup. Uh, weapon upgrades, of which we have a bunch of them. I might actually buy the upgrade for the Blood Pack one, to be honest, because the Blood Pack one we've been using quite a lot, which is great. Um, could even be worth upgrading the ones for other people as well. I might take off my heavy pistol and just start rocking a shotgun, um, some machine gun, and then I could maybe put another weapon on, or I'll just rock two weapons. Who knows? Who knows? Um, obviously, I'm not going to spend all my credits. On, I've only got 31. I need to make sure I've got... I'm, I always want to... This is how I spend money in real life. I always make sure I've got a nice little safety net in case I need it. In case I need it, but um, yeah, I might remove that because that's like 50%. And then if I chuck one of these on, that takes me down to let's see, that's that's the heaviest one. There you go. Um, yeah, probably just gonna run nothing so I can have maximum power recharge speed, and this should this should do me just fine, to be honest. There's enough ammo to pick up with these two, so that should be okay. Let's have a chat with Mr. Vega. Buddy. That Jack is a mean SOB, but kind of hot. If you like that sort of thing. Nice. So. Anderson and Sanders. 
That's quite a couple. Huh. My dad's last name is Sanders. No relation. Do you hear that hum? Is that just me? It's the ship, buddy. Do you hear that hum? Is that just me? It's the buddy. It's the sh it's the it's the buddy. It's the hum of this guy. Clearly, it's our buddy. Um. Now let's go to crew deck. We'll have a chat to Liara Garrus, and I mean, maybe we we'll even see if Doctor Chuck has anything to say. And then we'll go up to the CIC. Notification is available on the private messages terminal. Thank you, Glyph. Upgrades. It's this terminal, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Email from Kaylee Sanders to David Anderson. David, you won't get this for a while unless you find an extranet connection working on Earth. I've made it out of this weapon. Made it out to this weapon we're building. The device isn't even halfway complete, and it's the most breathtakingly complicated piece of technology I've ever seen. I wish you could see this thing we're creating. It gives me hope. Take care for my sake. Hey, Sanders. Checking on the kids? How are they, Jack? They'll do good. It's going to be long. I kind of got crap to do. I wanted to tell you I persuaded some Alliance friends to part with that biota camp you and the children were testing at Grissom. You can pick it up on the Citadel. Damn, one of the L3X1s? You know how much shit I got to tear up with one of those installed? I had no idea. Oh, sorry. I had an idea. Look after yourself. Yeah, yeah, and hey, thanks. Call between Kasumi and Professor S. Olausen. Hey, hi, Professor. You know that one-of-a-kind point-to-point comm server you were talking about the other day? Do you have any information on its whereabouts? I've got something better. Check your front door. I... But this server's locked in a Cerberus facility. Not anymore. This will be invaluable for the Crucible. Thank you, Miss Goto. You're the brilliant astrophysitive, astrophysicist, Prof. I'm just a tech expert doing some odd jobs. By the way, you would not believe how many credits Cerberus just leaves lying around in the open. That's so true. Do you know how many credits we just pick up when we're just walking through missions? Pruthian notes. I'm not sure what to make of Javik. I approached him while we were traveling to a different system, but he wasn't very inclined to talk. What little he does say concerns the Reapers and our possible failure. If he Is he simply a soldier mourning his people, or is it a fundamental difference in our cultures? It was odd to see an entire academy just for biotic children. Don't Asari have biotic schools? Every Asari school includes biotic training programs. It's basic education. Still, those children in the academy were very impressive. I'm sure Jack's proud. Ready for the next mission? Yep. Uh, Garrus. What you got for me, buddy? One of the worst parts of this war is watching the kids react. If they're lucky, they grow up thinking the galaxy is basically a decent place. Some rough spots here and there, but for the most part, life makes sense. Now they find out it was all a lie. They wake up to see these things in the dark that just want to destroy everyone they ever cared about. If they survive, there'll be a lot of angry orphans out there looking for answers. Damn, that is a... Uh... One way to look at it. That's pretty dark. Hmm. Life just wouldn't have been complete if I didn't see Jack one more time. It's nice to see she's downgraded from dangerous lunatic to mildly insane. You have to admit, though, she did see through Cerberus back in the day. I might have even listened, but her tattoos gave me a headache every time she walked into the room. <laughs> Looks like we beat Cerberus again. Do you think the elusive man fires lieutenants over failures like this, or just lines them up against the wall and gets it over with? Probably ends up reprogramming them. I wish they had had a Grissom Academy for Turians when I was growing up. Always wanted to learn how to paint. Now <laughs> I mostly paint walls with Reaper blood. Not the same, but it's a living. He has so many good lines, it's insane. Not right now. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. He has so many good lines, though. It's great. All right, let's see if Dr. Chuck was any, has any updates. I'm glad to see we have Garrus back. I wanted to help with his scars, but I think he actually likes them. Take care, Commander. I genuinely love how, even though there's not dialogue uh, choices to be made and actual conversations, there is, like... 
characters have new things to say and then sometimes you know Shepard will actually talk back as well which is which is great I love that a lot uh, I have an unread unread message at my terminal uh, feeling much better from Caden still in the hospital but I'm up on my feet eating solid food and making trouble for the nurses they'll probably throw me out of here soon come by if you're on the Citadel same room thank you from Stephen Hackett so from Kaylee Sanders. Hi, Commander. I didn't have time to thank you properly after you got us out of the Academy and Admiral Hackett agreed to send this your way. While my students are out on duty, I'm doing what I can to help with the Crucible. It's an amazing project, more advanced than anything I've ever seen before. Some of my more tech-minded kids are staying back to help out too and watching them work. It's the future, Commander. This project will inform human progress for generations and they'll have you to thank for it. All my best, Kaylee Sanders. Nice. I just got word. Everyone from Grissom Academy has arrived safely. We wouldn't have known about them if you hadn't caught the distress signal. Nice work. Thanks, Commander. Yeah, well done, trainer. Commander. Reunited us with, with Jack as well. Got you to thank for that. We no longer have S Steve Blum in the, in the hallway here, voicing characters for us. It is good to know that Jack has thus far survived the Reaper invasion. I have amusing memories of her attempts to insert additions into my reports to the elusive man. Most of them centered around inappropriate uses of the word cockpit. <laughs> Hello, Shepard. So Jack's an instructor? I guess anyone who messes with biotic kids gets turned into a small stain on the floor and ceiling. Ooh, and that was Cerberus attacking the Academy. Man, that must have been like Christmas for her. Anyway, nice job on getting them out of there. They were throwing out some impressive biotic power. Good. We could use some heavy hitters in the biotics department. It'll be good for them, too. Biotics face a lot of discrimination. Maybe if they save the galaxy, people will get over their issues. I didn't expect you to be sensitive about that. Hey, I'm just tired of them stealing the spotlight from people with actual disabilities. I break ribs if I sneeze too hard. Being able to move crap with your mind is not a handicap. Commander? Yep. And then, Commander, just all of a sudden, much louder than the rest of the dialogue. Wonderful. All right. Time to choose our next destination, which is probably going to be the Citadel once again. So I drop off these biotic amp interfaces, and then I guess we'll end up seeing... Um, um, man, so many names in this game. It's so hard to always have everything on in my mind. Um, Cortez um, on the Citadel. But we've got finding artifacts in the Kite's Nest. We've got meeting with diplomats in the Anos Basin. Dock 42 in the Citadel to go to. And we've got a new one over here as well, which is scanned for Dr. Garneau, which is the Leviathan stuff. Okay, let me... I might do a bit of system searching. I'll do a bit of system searching. And then we'll head back to the head back to the citadel. So I'm gonna scan some systems for anomalies, investigate those, and uh, get some more war assets, and then head to the citadel. All right. So we've been doing a whole bunch of exploring uh, in systems and getting uh, new war assets, credits, fuel, you name it, everywhere in systems that we've been looking, evading the reapers at every twist and turn. Uh, we went into. Um, we started in Harsa, by the way, because that's where the mass relay is, and that's where the Batarian homeworld of Kashan was. So we got an artifact called the Pillars of Strength on that planet by scanning it. Uh, we're jumping in here. We're 50% completed. We have alerted the Reapers, but there is the ability to find artifacts on this planet called Vanna. <laughs> so we'll quickly jump in there. Uh, we'll start the scanner, get another artifact. So this one's actually for a mission, but we got... Uh, an artifact called Pillars of Strength, which I believe was the what was mentioned, um, I think, Black Market Artifacts, uh, which I believe was mentioned by some of the Batarians on the Citadel uh, that they were talking about this. So there we go, we've got that. Now I can quickly get the hell out of this system. Move on with my life. Than uh, successful. I've gotten very confident, at least, with avoiding the reapers there it's, it's all good and it saves before you enter a system anyway so if you do get caught it... if you do get caught <laughs> it's fine because it just kicks you out to the start so 
Kite's Nest is 100%. Petra Nebula was not giving me anything. Exodus Cluster is 100%. Hades Gamma Cluster is 100%, which is a huge place. AP and Crest, 100%. Uh, Minus Wasteland is my frontier. I haven't done everywhere yet, but I've done some places uh, before I, you know, decided to cool my jets in terms of the exploration. Um, but we've got that artifact, um, and we've got the Pillars of Strength, so I think now's a good opportunity for us to finally head back to the Citadel after my space exploration. We will talk to some people to help hopefully resolve some, some, some plot lines. Black Market Artifact sounds good. Can we scan the Citadel? Anything out? Mm -hmm. no. uh, Black Market Artifacts sounds like we'll be giving that to our lovely friend. Um, we need to be giving an artifact to. I mean, it seems pretty good. Uh, let's head to... We'll just head to the Alliance docks. Because I forgot what Dock 42 is about. Dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? Oh, is this going to happen every time we go in? Interesting, and then they can automatically drop us off at points. That's cool. Uh, I need to go to... Uh, I think it might be here. I need to get to the refugee camp. Yes, Commander. Yeah, cool. Uh, what was Doc 42? Aria has requested a private meeting, and I'm not ready for that yet, I don't think, because I'm going to make sure that we do the Blue Suns. So... General Rocker is who we've got to deal with. But that's at the embassies, I think. So this should be where I do a uh, the Pillar of Strength artifact. I recovered your Pillars of Strength from the Kite's Nest. They're yours, waiting in Bay D-24. Thank you. Right now, my people need any reminder of their faith they can get. Check that out. We've actually got Batarians on our side for this fight also. I think I might have missed this terminal. Accuracy by 30% on the shotgun. Damage by 17.5%. We've also got more credits now searching the galaxy and the planets, so that's pretty good. Terminus armor. I'll leave that for now. Eventually I'll have enough credits to buy out the entire... Uh, every single shop in the galaxy, but for now, I'll keep it as that. Now, I think that was all we had to do in this part. Um, oh, we also got uh, we also got this. We got the banner of the first regiment by exploring another planet as well. Turin officer needs the banner of the first regiment to inspire his troops, so deliver it to him at, uh, at Purgatory on the Citadel. Um, and Asari is looking for improved biocamp interfaces at the hospital. Um, what's really annoying, and keep focusing on it, is we have the biocamp inf interfaces. I wish it updated the thing that said, because it says find schematics and bring them. And there's no, like, what if I forget that I picked it up ages ago? <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, I wish it, the description of them would update to the most updated, um, most updated objective to do, the most updated, like, step. But let's go to... our next spot. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. Alright, we'll do Purgatory to give this Turian I'm not going to be able to put up with this assignment much longer. I hear you. The way people in there keep acting like nothing's going on. No, that's just them coping with the war. It's the bottom leaders that are getting to me. Profiteering on the lives the war is destroying. It's sick. It's just business as usual as far as they're This person needs something as well, don't they? But we can't even talk to them yet, so I guess we're still waiting. <gasps> There's some Elcor and Hanar down there. I'm just talking to Elcor, man. There better be some Elcor in this game that I can talk to, or I'm going to be severely disappointed. Is it this? Which Turian am I speaking to? Just any Turian that's on their own. 
Oh, hang on. These ones? These guys, right? Yeah. Commander Shepard, maybe I can help. The banner of the 1st Regiment is waiting for you at Bay D-24. The banner of Commander Shepard. I owe you a drink, thank you. We'll hold that banner proudly as we take our home attack. back. That's right, son. Uh, Hueta Memorial Hospital. Look, when you've got a when you need to recruit people to fight the Reapers, you need to do a lot of busy work. A lot of errands need to get done. I get it. God, I could listen to that. I want to. I want to go to Purgatory in real life. Like, I'm an old man now. Like, basically, I basically got one foot in a retirement home with how my back is, but. Does that does that make me want to go out to a, a bar and have a drink? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Uh, it's not Dr. Raven. Who are we speaking to in regards to uh, an Asari on the Citadel? Thane, my boy. We were deployed to Tiptree. It's a small human colony. We were supposed to help with evac. And the enemy was landing. Just scouts, the Turian things, a few of them big ones. We were spread over half the continent, getting colonists to shuttles, wiping out husks. It sounds like you were doing good work. Could I have a gun? I'd feel a lot better. Just tell me what happened at Tiptree. I think we're on future visits. We'll eventually get more out of that. Uh, Dr. Michel. I can see Sari's in here somewhere. Beep, beep, beep. Uh, and we can also speak to... yeah, here. And we can also speak to Caden while we're here. I overheard you talking. Grissom Academy is gone. But I found this while I was there. What is this? Yes, these are tailored to human physiology. But with a few alterations, they should work for the Asari as well. This is exactly what I needed. Thank you. Wonderful. Um, Solarian needs new heating unit stabilizers. I don't know about that. That's the technician, so we don't have a power grid yet. I don't know if I have heating unit stabilizers yet. I might have picked them up on my travels. Um, but we'll see. That's that's the thing. It's like, do I do I have them? Uh, and then there's a scientist, and it just says a scientist is searching for missing prototypes for a biotic amp system. Search the Isma Frontier for the components and return them to the scientist on the Citadel. Where's the scientist? See, I don't even remember. I don't know where the scientist is anymore. <laughs> he could be anywhere. Hey, buddy. Hey, Shepard. If you came to spring me, you're late. I'm getting out soon. Good to hear. Maybe you already saw the vid, but I accepted Udina's offer. Nice. Inspector Caden Alenko. That's a big deal. Only the second human specter. <laughs> it's humbling. Udina thinks they may have a pretty big ceremony, even with the war. And he says a celebration will give folks something hopeful to latch onto. Just remember, Caden, second human specter, right? Second human specter. You ready to take on that responsibility? You set the bar pretty high, but I'll do my best. It's strange. On Mars, I should have died. The promotion from Anderson, Spectre status. These are terrible days. But I've been lucky. Yeah, bud. Like, you've been you've been pretty lucky. Got punched out by a murder bot and lived to tell the tale. It's pretty it's pretty damn good, bud. You're perfect for the job. On Eden Prime, I could see there was something special about you. You're a good soldier. That means a lot. I'm happy. I want to serve. I thought you might want to join the Normandy. Yeah. I have thought about that. I just need to get out of here first, though. Take care of some things. I've been trying to locate my old spec op squads. My students from Biotics Division. Any luck? No. Probably went underground, but they'll turn up. If they were easy to find, they wouldn't be doing their jobs. Well, let me know when you're out. Take okay. care, Spectre Lenko. Stay safe, Commander. 
So I don't think he'll be joining us in the squad either because we've got James to fill the human human male squad mate position. Uh, you know, you know what they say: too many sausages on the pizza, not enough cheese. Um, so let's have a look. I believe you were looking for these prototypes. I do have them. <laughs> See, I don't know. You found them. Thank you. These biotic upgrades will save a lot of Alliance lives. We'll begin production immediately. Here, for your trouble. Nice. Thanks. Oh, good to rely on you to confirm that I actually had those things because the, timeline is reasonable. the game certainly didn't want to tell me. Um, that's good. Why does it keep sitting me in the codex every time? We're getting through this list, which is which is great. Uh, we're not going back to Eden Prime. I wish that I could get this out of my journal. I will never be able to get that out of my journal, so that one kind of sucks. <laughs> uh, we are now going to go to uh, and do this, because I believe we've got the black market artifact, so that should be pretty sweet. Um, and I don't know when we should talk to Arya with the private meeting, but I think I will hold that until I am sure that we've got this visit sorted. You got moves. Check that out. It's the reverse moonwalk. That's pretty that's pretty impressive. I'll oh sorry, did I give did I give you stage fright? Oh, no. Okay, sorry. I wanted to wanted to join you in on the dance, but I guess not. That's fine. Hey Thane, doing well? Love you, buddy. Good. Love your work. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Um, Presidium Commons. Presidium Commons, please. That's what I want to be. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. After yes. all, it's not like I'm the reason you're breaking up with him, right? It's the war. Oh yeah. I'm not sure what that has to do with anything. You said he'd been distant, and that the war made everything clearer. That things weren't working. Yes, but meeting you was what made me realize how bad it had gotten. I just... I'm not the one who broke up your relationship. Bruh. Was it someone else who pinned me to the wall with her mouth? Am I interrupting something here? But you there... You're not called mistress in the subtitles for no reason. You fucked up the relationship here, and now you're trying to shift the blame. Not good. Okay. Who's out here? Cool. So Edie and Joker back on the ship. They're not here anymore. So we'll speak to Kanik, I believe, with the black market artifacts that we picked up. I love the Mass Effect Citadel music. I believe this is the same one from Mass Effect 1. It's so nice. You're back, huh? Any luck out there? Yes, actually. Here, I've got some pieces for you. Done deal, Commander. Check in with General Oraka. You'll see I'm making CSEC very happy. Nice. We did it. War asset updated. Terminus fleet for the Blue Suns. Now let's speak to Oraka. Oh, no, wait. Drake and Edie are here. Wait. They're just not on the... No. Oh, I can't speak to you. Can I speak to you, Edie? Is it time to return to the Normandy? Mm -hmm. I'm getting propositioned with increasing frequency. Man, I wish I lived in the future. No particular reason why. Commander Shepard, I was just contacted by a black market dealer who's donating high-end weapons to CSEC. Yes. He wanted you to know. Sounds like you came through. And the Blue Suns can go about their business. Now we'll be focusing on Citadel defense. It won't bring Palavan back, but it's something. Thank you, Commander. You will leave Blue Suns alone. Wonderful. Cool. That gives us... All three mercenaries united in the Terminus fleet for our war asset. That's good. Uh, Dominic Sobo is looking for evidence during a mission on Benning, so we're going to Benning. I guess we could now speak to Arya in Dock 42 of the Citadel because we've done the other things, so it would make sense for us to be have a follow-up conversation now. So that's good. 
Um, can I get to her via fast travel? What is it, like the transit system? Or do I need to go the long way? I need to actually find a little transit system thing. I think I can find one in the in docking bay. Now arriving at docking bay D twenty four. Oh, so I can only go to. Wait a minute. Yeah. God, it's confusing having one that's docking twenty four and forty two together. It's just gonna confuse me. It's literally exactly the same, just flipped. I think I have to leave then. And then dock again to get to dock 42. Dock 42. Are you brave? Uh, the great commander Shepard. <laughs> that me without my autograph book. Save it. Just take me to Aria. Follow me. I should have spoken with Arya in, a, in Purgatory. So where is she? Shepard. Hello. Shepard. I should have spoken with her in Purgatory to get her follow up on the Blue Suns. So hopefully she might still be Arya. sitting there. How dramatic. After this. There are too many eyes and ears in Purgatory. Incons inconspicuously descends. Cool. I assume this is about retaking Omega. This is about your war, Shepard. Cerberus controlling the Terminus system seriously bolsters their mobility. Since taking Omega, they've spread through the galaxy. Surely the Alliance has noticed. Cut to the chase. What's your plan? Kick them out. I've amassed a fleet of Merc ships. We're going to punch through enemy lines and invade. Once we're on Omega, it's a ground war. That's why I want you. I only accept the best. Hmm. Good compliment. The leader of the Cerberus occupation is General Oleg Petrovsky. He's the one who ousted me. Don't know him. The elusive man's top military strategist and best kept secret. But all you really need to know is that he's a merciless bastard. Nice. Our kind of guy. What's your intel on the occupation? Petrovsky's army is massive and he's got Omega locked tight. The information stops there. So you're winging it? Not at all. There are secrets on Omega only I know. Secrets that will provide us a foothold. I can tell you this. Petrovsky's invasion was precise and ruthless. We'll stop at nothing to win. This is so fitting, though. Sounds familiar. Shepard, I know my reputation. I know I'm hated. I ruled Omega with an iron fist. But the people were free. Their lives were theirs. I preserved that. This man took all that away, and he is going to pay. When Omega is mine again, I'll give you everything. I've got ships, mercs, Ezo, all yours for the war. What's the catch? I have objections to some of the company you keep. So you'll have to leave the Normandy and its crew behind. My crew are professionals. Let's just say, I want you all to myself. You flirting with me, Arya? Type of the type of woman who will actually kill me. Oh, and while we're still in the citadel, please be discreet. Aye, aye. The fleet is hidden in this system. Signal me when you're on your way. I see. Ari and I will meet you on the command ship. Sweet. <laughs> Can't wait to see what all the fuss is about. <laughs> Chill out, bud. Hell yeah. That's funny though. <laughs> Fucking Ari is just like, I want you all to myself. It's like you wanna you wanna do some of that Asari Asari bonding? I mean we can we can look into it, Arya. Cool. Omega, Arya Talok, rendezvous with Arya's fleet. Cool. Um and Omega reclaimed Omega's secrets. 
So I believe this is the Omega uh, DLC. A powerful biotic Arya Taluk has been the sole ruler of Omega for some time. Rumored to be at least a thousand years old, she is as skilled at combat and the use of her biotic abilities as she is at manipulation and power games. Ruthless, highly intelligent, and dedicated to maintaining her rule over Omega, Arya is a force to be reckoned with. Though recent events have seen Cerberus take over Omega and send Arya into exile, there is no doubt that Arya will do everything within her power to reclaim what is hers. The elusive man's plans to capture Omega was elegantly wrought. Experimental specimens called ad adjutants escaped from a Cerberus facility beyond the Omega-4 mass relay. I knew that that was going to tie into it. I knew that the elusive man would be doing something beyond uh, the Omega-4 mass relay. Probably being like... This is the perfect opportunity. Omega-4 Relay still has that reputation of being super dangerous, don't go through it uh, sort of deal. So Elusive Men goes, cool, let's do a bunch of Cerberus activities out there now that we won and we took over that place because now we can be we can be the ones that are in there in secret. Um, and the, So he took command of a Cerberus convoy and arrived on Omega to wreak havoc. Um, so experimental experimental specimens... Adjutants. With more adjutants incoming, Cerberus reached out to Arya, claiming it needed her to help stop the, its wayward test subjects. Reluctantly offering her own forces in an alliance, Arya joined Cerberus's general Oleg Petrovsky aboard his ship to oversee the battle. When the adjutants overran the Cerberus Omega fleet, Petrovsky and, Omega, and Arya escaped through the Omega 4 relay. However, Petrovsky's subordinate, Colonel Raymond Ash, had remained behind on Omega to take control of the station's defenses while Cerberus reinforcements approached. Announcing that it was protecting the galaxy from the adjutant threat, Cerberus seized Omega, giving the elusive man full control of the Omega-4 relay and the space beyond. Without Arya to keep them in line, the various criminal and mercenary factions on the station erupted, fighting both Cerberus ground troops and each other. Meanwhile, Arya was taken captive by General Petrovsky, Realizing that the adjutants had simply been a ruse to capture Omega, Arya managed to escape back to Omega, slipping away into its underbelly to organize a resistance force. Eventually, Petrovsky ordered the Cerberus forces to evacuate the station, but this was yet another ruse, this time to lure Arya out of hiding. With his troops out of harm's way, Petrovsky summoned a massive Cerberus fleet and presented Arya with an ultimatum, leave Omega or lose it. Petrovsky threatened to destroy the station rather than lose control, and with no alternative, Arya left, vowing she would return to claim Omega and take her revenge. Military strategist and classical scholar General Oleg Petrovsky is one of the elusive man's most respected operatives. As a corporal in the First Contact War, Petrovsky was forced to take command of his unit and proved his tactical brilliance by holding off repeated Turian attacks for weeks. The war ended before his position was overrun, but not before Petrovsky had witnessed firsthand the brutality of the Turian war machine. Despite being praised and promoted for his bravery, Petrovsky eventually found more common ground with Cerberus than the Alliance military. Since leading the campaign to seize Omega, Petrovsky has proven to be a capable, if firm, administrator who is focused on containing or eliminating unstable elements before they threaten Cerberus's occupation of the station. Wonderful. Cool. Alright, so we've got that one down there also. Uh, we are slim in this we are slim in this list, which is good. So this is something we'll be able to find later. We'll be able to find this later. Uh, we can find a book of planets on Irune later. Heating unit stabilizers. Recruiting um, Shadow Breaker forces in the Dranak system. And Omega's uh, thing there. So that's the thing is um, I think we might do because we've got one priority mission right now, which is Sir Kesh, which is called for a war summit and has taken the unusual step of including the Krogan rendezvous with a Salarian ship and use the Normandy as neutral ground for the summit. Um, so we'll see. I'll check out some other systems that we haven't explored yet to see if we can do anything first, like Benning, uh, something like that. If not, we will go and do Sir Kesh. Um, so we're on the galaxy map right now. Commander. I got a message for me while I'm here. Nope. Cool. I mean, I haven't necessarily done anything. Ah, oh, okay. That's where Arya's fleet is. So that's here. Cool. Meet with meet with the diplomats. I think that's the prior. That's the priority mission. That's Leviathan.
check the other systems. I haven't checked. Oh, this is 50%. Don't mind me, Reapers. I'm just scanning for something in the Skepsis system. Ow! Don't boom at me, please. Oh my god, where is it? There it is. <laughs> we just we just found it. Oh, of course I'm on the other side. This is probably going to be fuel because it's in the middle of space. Whenever it's in the middle of space, it tends to be fuel. Already full of it. I'm pretty sure we've fully explored this system as well. Yeah, okay. We'll leave. It's not Sigurd's Cradle. Strike Abyssal is at 37%. Present Nebula is my frontier. It's in the Crescent Nebula. See, this is the this is the boring stuff when I just ride in the systems and I check for everything and I'm just seeing where everything is because I don't know if we need to even be in any of the systems. So I might. <gasps> it's Ilium. It's Ilium. Can we get on Ilium? Liquid assets. Classic Garden World. Reaper forces met a surprising amount of resistance at Ilium. Its leaders were paranoid about keeping their fortunes and were influential in both Terminus and Citadel space. They outfitted their large defense fleet with a high number of fission weapons and in the brief space battle used them on the Reaper's fleet troop transports rather than their near impervious capital ships. As a result, the inevitable ground invasion has been slowed to a crawl as the Reapers manufacture more troops. Damn. Ilium actually uh, has seemingly, you know, done a valiant effort. At defending themselves against the Reapers, then. There you go. And we're just alerting. Here, yeah, let me just... Let's let's just bring the Reapers to this system. Shall we? While I search for stuff! Uh... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> stop. Give me the stuff. Oh man. Why do you have to be faster than me? <laughs> faster than light jump successful. Do you see why do you see why I do this stuff off camera instead? Because it's just this stuff. It's just me avoiding the Reapers. Evasion successful. While trying to find this literal last 50% thing that's ugh, that's right there. And it's fuel! After all of that, it's fuel I don't even need. I'm gonna get captured. Oh my god, it's right on top of me! And that's what happens. Okay. Uh, okay, there was one here, and then I forgot where the other one was already. Where was the fuel? Oh my god. Come on, goldfish brain. You got this. Signal confirmed. Alright, so here's the fuel that I don't even need. And then, what's the other thing? It's on Ilium, right? There we go. So we get my liquid assets. I'll get out of here. Go! Reapers eluded. I will check out the Lasan system. I mean, running away from the Reapers is pretty terrifying. <laughs> Especially when they're, like, right on top of you. I found something. Yep. More fuel? Thank you. And I could actually use it that time. Right, that's 50%. Thank you. Credits recovered. An asteroid. All right. So I don't think we we might not have unlocked um, locations yet to go to in regards to those side missions. I 
Excuse me, guys, just passing through. No need to... No need to capture me, please. Faster than light jump successful. Frank Abyssal. Final system. Uh, Z-Char we've already explored. Um, Thal system, Kaisel system, Erla Rust as well. Signal confirmed. Okay, it's good. At least I actually need fuel. We haven't alerted any Reapers yet. Because I don't think this is Reaper space, is it? So that's nice. It's peaceful. It's quiet. I can actually scan for things. Uh, I'm going to scan these remaining systems. Um, and then we will... Vorsha Labor Team. There we go. Um, and then we'll head to this diplomatic summit. All right, ready to go to the Anos Basin to meet with the diplomats because I've explored other systems and haven't found anything else in relation to the current missions we have in our journal. Unless they're in this system, which I haven't checked yet. Uh, there's only this system, Pranas, because there's No other systems in this cluster for us to check out, so I don't think there'll be anything for us to find. Alright, time to go meet with the diplomatic ships. The diplomatic ships of the Salarians, Turians, and Krogan float far away from one another out of weapon range. Messages sent by each faction indicate that they would welcome the Normandy as a neutral meeting ground for their diplomats. The fact that they have not agreed on a ship to serve as a neutral meeting point before now does not bode well for the negotiations. All right, are we ready? Commander, the Salarian Dalatras and Krogan clan chief are ready to come aboard. Have them brought to the conference room. And hope this doesn't start another war. Here we go. The Krogan is in no position to make demands. The Krogan has a name. Erdnot Rex. And I'm not just some junkyard veteran. You unleash whenever you're in trouble. Shepard. I've got my own problems. Reaper scouts have arrived on Tuchunka. So why should I care if a few Turians go extinct? Trying to draw out negotiations will get you nowhere, Rex. I have no time for it. Just tell us what you want. I'll tell you what I need. A cure for the genophage. Hmm. Huh. Absolutely not. The genophage is non-negotiable. Wow. Well, that's something to start with. And Shepard got, like, nice and neatly dressed for this, which I actually love this is automatic because this is actually quite fitting. Imagine if I just walked out in my hoodie, like, sup, what's going on? Let's do this, guys. Let's all be friends. It's very casual. I love that Rex is the one that's here. I'm so glad that he is... I'm so glad that he survived, you know, Mass Effect 1 because... They were, it was tense, and now we're best buds. They headbutt each other. We, if this wasn't so formal, we'd be headbutting each other uh, right now, out of respect. Why are you so opposed to the idea, Delatras? Because my people uplifted the Krogan. We know them best. You mean you used us to fight a war you couldn't win? It wasn't the Salarians, or the Asari, or even the Turians that stopped the Rachni. It was Krogan blood that turned the tide. And after that, you ceased to be useful. The genophage was the only way to keep your urges in check. Dalatrash, you may not like him, but Rex is right. Insulting him won't change that. I won't apologize for speaking the truth. We uplifted the Krogan to do one thing, wage war. It's all they know because it's all we wanted them to know. Your people should have thought the matter through then. Was it really a surprise the Krogan revolted? That's precisely my point, Commander. We made a rash decision. We turned to the Krogan in desperation. It's the same mistake you're about to make today. No good can come from curing the genophage. 
Uh, look, it's been some time. The Rachni Wars are over. Krogan's are different now. I'm best friends with them. They will listen to me. I got two of the most... I got two of the best Krogan in the galaxy on my side. Uh, Rex and Grunt. We're, we're fine. Trust me, we're fine. The Krogan have paid for their mistakes. The genophage has gone on long enough. 1,476 years, if you're keeping track. It was a thousand years of peace, free from these brutes. Enough! Whether or not they deserve a cure is academic. It would take years to formulate one. My information says otherwise. A Solarian scientist, Malin, grew a conscience. He was on my planet, testing a cure on our females. I remember. His methods were barbaric. But what you didn't know is that other females survived his experiments. So the Dalatress here sent in a team to clean up the whole mess and to take them prisoner. Where did you get this? It could be a fabrication. Don't insult me. Those are my people. They're immune to the genophage, and you're going to give them back. Dalatras, is this true? Well, will curing the genophage benefit my people? That's fucked up, Dalatras. How long do you think you'll last alone against the Reapers? Because if you don't help, that's how it'll end up. And I'll be the last friendly Turian you ever see. What's it gonna be? Gotcha. The females are being kept at one of our STG bases on Sirkash. But I warn you, Commander. The consequences of this will be felt. Will be nothing compared to what happens if the Reapers win. Let's get the females. You're not setting foot on Sirkash. This will take time. It happens now. As a Council Specter, Shepard can oversee the exchange. We're going. That's right. I won't forget this, Commander. A bully has few friends when he needs them most. Majority rules, bitch. Let's go get women. So we're automatically going to Sukesh. Um, the fact that I really wish, the fact that I really wish that Rex would have been selectable on this, but that's fine. I wish it would have just been surprise. Rex is here. Well, that's okay. Um, that's Solarians, man. Trying to keep the the genophage intact. But there you go, because we saved Malin's data. Saved a copy of it in Mass Effect 2. I love how as soon as she states they're on Sakesh, Shepard's like, I'm out the door, let's go, I'm saving I'm saving these bad boys. I wish the renegade option would have been to like almost headbutt her, like jump across the table and headbutt her and go, I'm a Krogan! <laughs> I, as I've said before, in Mass Effect 2 when we went to Chuchanka, our, our character Shepard is so much like a Krogan. We've done our fair share of headbutting. And especially as we're a vanguard who charges into battle. <laughs> I want to... I'm actually tempted to bring Javik because it's a Krogan-related thing, and I would be so interested to hear what Javik's perspective on the Krogan are from his time. Um, but then I also feel like I want to bring either Liara or Edie. What a, what a stunning, across all of Mass Effect really, especially Mass Effect 2 and now Mass Effect 3, what a stunning cast of characters. The fact that, the fact that Mass Effect succeeds so well in making your decision hard on who to bring with you, um, is, like, really says a lot. It really says a lot. Like, even, even James, uh, even Jacob, and even Caden in those three games, when you take them along, they still have something to give. They still have something to offer on those missions. Infinitely less interesting than an alien species and their opinion on the, the ever-evolving galaxy because humans are so uh, small and tiny compared to the history of the galaxy when we have such short lifespans and uh, Asari are thousands of years old. Javik's a Prothean. Uh, Edie is Edie. Um, Garrus is 
the best. Uh, so I think we're going to go with Garrus and Javik. I would like to know if Javik has anything to say on the Krogan. Right? That that seems to be that seems to be where I'm fitting. Um, I will have this in the shotgun. I did pick up another mod though, however, which was Oh no, maybe I didn't. Oh no, it was the high caliber barrel and I already bought it. That's fine. I'll keep the melee damage because I'm I'm liking my melee and I need to use my heavy melee a bit more. Uh, you're fine with your this goddamn particle beam thing is great, and you've got your heavy pistol. I might actually give Garrus a different one. I'll give him the Matok instead. Sniper's fine. Wonderful. Uh, abilities, I do need to level stuff up, so I'm going to level up. I might maximize my charge. 25% of not triggering a cooldown or barriers by 50%. So we're getting that one. And then I can upgrade my Nova with my fifth point again as well. Recharge speed of 25% or the option to use Nova two times in a row. Uh, I think I want to do recharge speed of 25%. And then increase damage to barriers, shields, armor targets. That one is tempting as well. They, these are both great because because Nova doesn't use a cooldown; it just uses your shields. With a twenty-five percent chance of not using up your barrier, you could theoretically, if you hit that twenty-five percent chance over and over, you can just smash Nova, which is amazing. Um, I'm going to do power recharge speed. Uh, Garrus, my friend, I'm going to give you, um, I'm, I'm going to upgrade Overload with increased damage, and Javik, let's max out your Vengeful Ancient, so Squadmate Power Demonstration enforced by 10%, or Squadmate Shield Recharge Speed by 20 let's do Squadmate Shields, lovely, I'm happy about it, let's drop in. So we're going to rescue some female Krogan that are immune to the genophage on Sakesh. There you go. This is the Solarian homeworld we're headed to. They aren't used to seeing Krogan here, so let's keep it simple. We land, get the females, and leave before anyone changes their mind. I still don't trust a word they say. <laughs> when in doubt, scare them. <laughs> so we, so Rex is with us, he's just not in our squad. Come on, Rex, you can do it. I believe in you. Let diplomacy play out, Rex. You'll get what you want. These females are the best, and probably last hope for my people. We'll bring them home, Rex. You've waited long enough for this day. A lifetime. I appreciate the assist, Garrus. Figured you'd gone soft sitting on your throne. Forgot how to hold a gun. He wouldn't be Kinve, would he? Who's that? He's a Prothean. Sometimes I'm not sure if the Normandy's a warship or a traveling freak show. But as long as he can hold a gun. Commander, I have a Love Solarian it. base on sensors. Set her down. Who's that? <laughs> it is a it is it's my freak show, god damn it. It's like Garrus was written to be with you on every single mission. He has the best dialogue. Don't have clearance to land. Tell them the Dalatras authorized this herself. I knew they'd never keep their word. Let's see them try to stop a Krogan airdrop. Rex? No! We have an unauthorized landing. Oh, wow. Okay. You to hold my race hostage. Shepard, restrain your colleague. 
We only found out about this transfer a few moments ago. <laughs> I feel like they wrote Garrus with the best dialogue, right? Bring him along on every mission. It's like by Mass Effect 3, they were like, he is the best. We'll give him the best dialogue. Because he just, it, especially when he interacts with the characters that he's that he has history with, like he's like, has good camaraderie, especially with like Rex and stuff like that, which I think is really great. So it's just like, you just have to bring him by obligation. And also because he's the best. Um, and I'm glad that we got that running comment about Javik, because if it was someone else, Liara would have probably said some stuff. And that's the struggle. Liara would have probably had some good dialogue. We were in the, they were in the same squad together in Mass Effect 1, it's, but it's hard. I'd like to avoid a diplomatic incident. As would we. But you have something valuable to Rex. Something worth dying for. This matter can be resolved, but I must insist he remain under guard. <laughs> Well, I mean, he'll be under my guard, won't he? Won't he be under my guard? I can handle this, Rex. If anything goes wrong, and all bets are off. I'm Paddock Wicks, and I appreciate your understanding, Commander. With war on everyone's minds, our people are on edge. Uh, oh! Careful! Watch the containment shield! Oh! They were much smaller in my cycle. As you can see, this base contains sensitive information. Oh, what were they called? What was their species? The, like, the, the Shadow Broker. But Garrus says brings back memories because we took him to the Shadow Broker DLC and I love that Javik... See, this is why I was like... Javik will have commentary on like what it was like in his time. That's what interests me the most. Um, I'm, I'm forgetting the name of the species, but I love their addition into, into Mass Effect. They're great. As you can see, this base contains sensitive information now. Yeah, we're going to find out some weird fucked up Solarian secrets here, I think. What kind of work goes on here? Evolutionary trials, morphological simulations, exogenetic assessments. Nothing is ever simple with Solarians, is it? Science has always been our best defense. The research we do here has kept Sirkesh safe for millennia. Yeah, don't buy it, pal. Come on. <laughs> Seems like a good place to hide things you don't want the galaxy to know about. Like female Krogan. I'm aware of how this must look, but it was for their own good. They were in poor health when we found them on Tuchanka. We brought them here to stabilize their condition. This old planet smells wrong. <laughs> I'd like to see them. Of course. I'll need to clear you for the lower levels. Give me a few moments and meet me near the elevator. Attention biolabs. Please prepare for yon specimen arrival. And uh, I'm judging by uh, the lack of helmet for Javik is he does not need to wear one uh, anywhere. Which, lucky him, he can just breathe anything. What an amazing specimen. <laughs> hey. As I said, Commander, don't touch that. <laughs> Again, I would ask you to refrain from touching that. Perhaps don't touch that means something different in your language. <laughs> I would rather not refer this matter to the human embassy. Touch it all you want. You'll never find out what it does. Are humans really so deprived of stimulus that they must insist on touching everything? I'm afraid if you keep touching that, you risk a diplomatic incident. Further manipulation of that object is grounds for further admonishment. Really? You must stop touching that. Once more, the Solarian Union formally requests that you not touch that. Fine. If you are so enamored of that object, then I suggest you get your own feces analyzer. We've already been down that road. No more. Yeah, and then it just removes the option entirely. <laughs> Oh, they, like, top tier. They they really just, like... I feel like by the time they got around to Mass Effect 3, they had really analysed what f fans of Mass Effect 1 and 2 were really all about. What they like to do, how they interact with people, who their favourite character is, all of that kind of stuff, and just really hit the nail on the head with, like, dialogue and, like, companions and just, like, random stuff down to the details of, like, just... Missable interactions you can have with characters. Oh my god. Hey, uh, 
come from, huh? <laughs> no wonder you're so soft. <laughs> Too busy writing poetry about waterfalls. Shepard, I don't like this. I should be the one going in. How about you stay here and we only fight one war at a time? That was just good old-fashioned Krogan hot air. If it had been real, they'd be dead. Idle threats are empty threats. <laughs> Maybe when this war is over, you can come live on Tuchunka. You'd fit right in. <laughs> Who tipped you off about the females here? Sorry, Shepard, but they're listening to every word we say. I prefer my Salarian liver served raw. <laughs> He is correct. It was a delicacy in our cycle. <laughs> yes, good choice to bring along Javik for that. Oh my god. Incredible. Did it switch or am I losing my mind? Who tipped you off about the females here? Sorry, Shepard, but they're listening to every word we say. I prefer my Salarian liver served raw. Okay, we did pick this one. He is correct. Okay, I did pick that one. Back on the Normandy, you said Reapers were sighted on Tachanka. Clans Jorgal and Ravador sighted a few landing parties. The Reapers are up to something. Tuchunka may be a pile of radioactive rubble, but it's our pile. And we'll fight the last Krogan to keep it that way. Radioactive? <laughs> Garrus. I have to make friends with the one Turian in the galaxy who thinks he's funny. Imagine how I feel. I'm supposed to hate Krogan, but you came along and warmed my heart with your winning personality. I could throw a few Solarians off a cliff, if it'll make you feel better. <laughs> what do you know about these females? They weren't fertile, so we used them as decoys to draw off enemies from the ones who were. But Malin's experiments changed that. These damn piejacks stole them right out from under us. That's a pretty brutal way to treat your women, Rex. The females suggested it. We've had to make a lot of tough choices to ensure we don't all die off. Hmm. Your females are wise. It's just one more thing that'll get better when the genophage is cured. Are the Krogan ready to fight the Reapers? Ever since Sovereign showed up, I figured this day would come. My people have spent too much time selling ourselves out as mercenaries. Now we can get back to doing what Krogan do best, saving everyone else from giant monsters. Never going to let us forget about the Rachni Wars, are you? The last time I was at the Citadel, I didn't see a Turian statue in your honor. <laughs> Just wait till this war is over. <laughs> it's been good talking to you again, Rex. It'll be even better when we have a few Solarians for lunch. <laughs> I just have nothing to say. That's so good. All right, I just gonna take a quick break and then we'll proceed with the with the rest of the mission. <gasps> it's Major Kirihei. Major Kirihei. I'd heard you were coming. Major Kira, he's here as well. What do you mean, have we met? Come on. Good to see you again. Sounds like you've been promoted. Yeah. Yes, due in no small part to our mission on Vermeer. Hold the line. You saved my men that day. Good to see a friendly face, Major. Garrus Vicarian. Always a pleasure. It seems the Reapers have a way of bringing us together. That's so cool. How'd you get posted to this base, Major? I led the team on Tachanka that found the females. Nasty business. Malin may have meant well, but his operation was crude. Test subjects were unaccounted for. The females easily escaped his lab. Okay. <laughs> it's, that's good. It's conflicting when it's like, ah, character that I like from Mass Effect 1 that we, we still alive. Yay. Oh no, you kidnapped the Krogan. <laughs> Confliction. How'd you oh, get I, led the team. I pressed the wrong one. What do you think about bringing the female Krogan here? Our scientists say it's important to preserve the females. Evolutionary paradigms. I say when people know you're hiding something valuable, they'll want to steal it. 
Either way, I have my orders. They'll be your problem soon enough. Ah, yes. I guess we're both still feeling the effects of Burmire. Yes, ironic. You destroyed the genophage cure, yet now it's the key to an alliance. Your standoff with Erdnot Rex is legend within STG. Yeah, well. <laughs> I'm sure you saw Rex's entrance. Our colony's three systems away saw it. He wasn't pleased with the reception. Can't say I blame him. Apologies, but better that than a Krogan with a shotgun wandering the base. Think of all the casualties. Our med pig couldn't handle it. <laughs> Security seems high. You expecting trouble? Our motto in STG is to always expect trouble. Failing that, create trouble for someone else. Our enemies have the same idea. A good principle to live by. Who's this? He's a friend. A Prothean. Prothean? Of course. Amazing what they can do with genetic modification these days. Some new psychological tactic, Commander? Give the Reapers a good scare? What are you really? Drell? Turian? Prothean. Oh. I see. <laughs> Uh, leading to some awkward moments here. He's like, ah, yes, Prothean, funny joke, and I'm Arachni. Now let's get on with it. Are the Salarians prepared for war with the Reapers? I've heard what they're doing to your Earth. I'm not sure any species can prepare for that. Though rumors suggest you're building a super weapon of some kind. No comment is already confirming it pretty much. We can, sh we can, I don't see any harm in sharing confidential information. Do you guys sharing confidential information? We have Solarians working on it, don't we? If we don't, we better, we better have at some point. This business with the females is part of it. I need the Tyrian support and they need the Krogans. Which is why I never became a diplomat. Too much handholding. Leave it to the Dalatresses. Okay. Nice seeing you again, Major. Likewise. And Commander, regardless of what the politicians decide, you can count on my support retaking Earth. Nice. You do that. Consider it my way of returning a favor. It would be an honor to fight alongside you again. Good day. <laughs> Love that. That's great. Air defenses report unidentified craft skirting our inbound approach vectors. It's like someone's testing our defenses. Appears that way, sir. I don't like it. Not with everything else going on. You have clearance now to see the females, Commander. I hope we can resolve this matter without reenacting the Krogan rebellions. I couldn't even imagine uh, the conversation that Rex is trying to make with them while he waits. You know, it's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I just... think about handing over the Krogan. I differ from most of my colleagues. Curing the genophage will bring closure to this issue. In the future, the Krogan may yet play some role we can't even imagine. We should let the evolutionary process decide who lives and dies, not galactic politics. I assume uh, Rex would be talking about Krogan, Krogan war stories and what they're doing on Tuchanka. Thanks for your time. Of course. Proceed into the elevator when you're ready. And then making nothing but subtle digs about the genophage to the Salarians. It's like, of course, uh... What? There was an outbound comm traffic 20 minutes ago. It's like, of course, Tachanka would be much stronger without the genophage. First transmission, fully encoded, with no identity signature. No signature? That's against protocol. I know. Someone's passing a message. I've got a bad feeling about this. Agree with them or not, our orders are clear. Ensure the smooth handover of the Krogan detainees. Who gave the order? Our superiors. That's all that matters. But they're going to cure the genophage. Everything we've done to stop the Krogan will be for nothing. When I want your opinion, I'll promote you. Until then, stay sharp and keep your mouth shut. This is a restricted area. Please stay back. Can't walk past it. All right, so we got Kiri and Rex is down there. This was the fir like the feces analyzer. I'll just check with these two Salarian on the left here, and then we can go through the elevator. A cyber analyst over in Intel. 
told me the Turians can't hold out much longer. He's hearing the Reapers have them against the wall. The Turians have the biggest fleet in the galaxy. And we're only a few Mass Effect relays away from the whole mess. Wild. All right. Send confirmation to the Dalatras that the exchange is proceeding. Yes, sir. And ask her for more warning the next time the Krogan leader shows up unannounced. Yes, sir. I wasn't serious. She'll maroon you onto Chunka with raw meat strapped to your back if you do that. Oh. Then she'll record the Thresher Maws eating you as a warning to anyone else who challenges her. <laughs> oh, so good. Oh. Now take this elevator down and someone will... What's happening? We got Reapers? Sensors have picked up activity on the perimeter. Hurry, Commander. Someone will meet you below. We got Reapers on the perimeter? We don't know yet. Oh, that's tense. Okay. All specimens are accounted for, sir. Hey, Just hello. Good to have you here. Morden? Hello. Right, still sharp. Surprise, understandable. Hadn't expected to return to work. You're back with STG. Special consultant. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. Helped female Krogan. Fed information to Clan Erdnot. Encouraged political pressure to free females. You must be Rex's inside source. Good boy. Yes. Can explain later. Security warnings not normal. Need to get off world for sake of Krogan. That's good. Females had weakened immune systems. Side effect of Malin's cure. These didn't survive. Yay. I'm glad that Morden's here. That's good. And also him being the one to leak the information is also great. Uh, there is an unknown threat at the perimeter. That's a bit tense. I have a feeling we're going to go back up that elevator to chaos, but that's uh, that's fine. We'll come to that when it when it happens. But what about Malin's research? I thought we saved it. Indeed, data saved, but not complete. Lacks crucial details to reconstruct cure, but still useful for synthesizing from living tissue. Couldn't save them. I'm sure you did everything you could, Morton. Arrived too late. Cannot delay now. One survivor, immune to genophage, can synthesize cure from her tissue. She's still here. Yes, last hope for Krogan. If she dies, genophage cure... Problematic. Please be careful. Krogan's slow to trust. I'm Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Are you here to kill me? That would serve no tactical purpose. Erdnot Rex and I are here to take you home. Why? What am I to you? Ooh. This music. Have the Solarians been mistreating you? Those are my sisters you saw back there. They died in a lot of pain. Did the best we could. And now I know I'm the only one left. That makes me dangerous to a lot of people. What about you, Commander Shepard? Why are you here? You're the future of the Krogan race. I'm fighting for that. Then I hope you brought an army. Alert. Unidentified missiles have breached the perimeter. Give me an update. Outbound communications have been severed. We're cut off. Secure all data to off-site location. What's happening? We have multiple ships inbound. Ah, Cerberus. Only one survived, Rex. It might be safer down here. What? So the Solarians can kill her like the others? No deal. If you still want this alliance, get her out of there. Release the female. We're leaving. I can't. Protocol states during lockdown, no specimens. <laughs> Objection noted. 
Now, please release Krogan. Oh. Ah. Need to monitor pod as it clears quarantine procedures. Meet us at next checkpoint, Shepard. Likely Cerberus opposes Genophage cure. You'll see Tachanka again, I promise. Get to elevator, Shepard. Holy shit. <laughs> Objection noted. Okay, not Reapers, Cerberus. We can we can deal with that. All research subjects into immediate lockdown. Watch us secure. Yag. What's we have problem? a problem. This isn't the time to delay, Commander. Fix it. Okay, so the Yag. Yep, there we go. That's, that was the that was the name that I was looking for. We don't have time to delay, I know, but like I also need to like look around and stuff and find things. Because this game has so many missable things. Log, Morton Solus, 162.3. Used SCG ties to secure station here. Gained autonomy in caring for Krogan test subjects. Females were obviously dying. Barbaric experiments. Malin's fault. My responsibility to fix. Need to save them. No more. No more dead. Wow. Oh. Log, Morton Solus, 162.3. Oh, okay, Used that's SCG the same. Ties to secure station here. Gained autonomy in caring for Krogan test subjects. Females were obviously dying. Barbaric experiments. Malin's fault. My responsibility to fix. Need to save them. No more. No more dead. Log, Morton Solus 178.3. Malin's cure disrupting autoimmune response. Krogan females dying. Malin's data details procedures spotted his error. Brute force application to alter hormone levels. Shows how far he'd fallen. Glad I saved data. Have developed counter agent. Saved at least one female. Nice. Cool. All right, let's get out of here. Something's wrong with the elevator. It's not responding. There. Try it now, Commander. Oh, crap. Get back! <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Commander Shepard, are you all right? And my helmet pops on with nanotech. Nanotech. Helmet. <laughs> Oh. Shepard, it's Rex. I took the shuttle. Do whatever it takes to get the female up to the landing pad. I'll try to make life miserable for Cerberus. Holy shit. This happened quick. Fuck. Oh. Oh, I've got a... Hang on. Okay, uh, let's prep for combat then, in that case. Let me get... Uh, armor... Sorry? Oh, wait. Uh, it's not using... Morton. Coming. Okay, hold on. I guess I've got to do... Why does this happen? He doesn't even have armor-piercing rounds on his sniper right now. Okay, and now we can do it. All right, uh, let me get my shotgun back then, and armor piercing ammo, so I can have it. Switch back to that. I'll switch to this, and then I can have incendiary ammo on the SMG. That didn't work out. Female isn't going to last long against this sort of firepower. Shepard, Cerberus in vicinity. Hurry, we're on our way. Ooh. Yog specimen has broken containment. Ah, oh, there's one. There's a Yog around here somewhere. Easy 
influence. It, you could almost see some sort of similarities between uh, only on one part of it, but the Salarians and the Yarg both have like the dual sort of headpiece thing, like the, with the horns. Oh, there it is. Are we fighting it? Nope. It <laughs> Oh my god. The jokes. The jokes. The banter. I love to see it. Oi. Okay. Oh, yep. I see. Pathways. Yeah, come on. Over. Over. There you go. Up and at him. Pod integrity. We'll do more than challenge them. Shepard, meet us at next checkpoint. Server is likely to target. Ooh. Careful, bud. Varen. Can't we unleash the Varen on Cerberus and they'll be friendly because I'm the Varen Battlemaster from Mass Effect 2. Spoken purely on experience of only one. <laughs> How do I... Last checkpoint was blown apart. Uh, thanks, Garrus. This way? Uh, ah, nice. Rex! Shepard, last attack compromised security systems. Attempting to compensate. Hang on, we're trying to get to you, Morton. Thanks, team. You're good. That did it. Cerberus isn't fooling around. The end of a cycle always marks the beginning of chaos. Oh, nice. Nice work, Kirihi. Yeah. Commander, stay back. Hostiles just down the hall. Dude, let me eviscerate him. Easier way around? You could say that. No, bud, I can do it. I'm literally a, a vanguard. Ooh. How do I not have one of those? <laughs> Don't let your guard down. I'll cover you. Stop. Never let them get the turret out. Come on. Looks like got some oh, <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. Shit. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, well, just give me a sec to get past the stupid turret. Yeah, I'm trying. Here we go. Checkpoint. I'm sure Cerberus isn't 
This is where we're going? Just need to make sure. Alright. I have to do it. Ah. Uh. Leeton. Um, there's no time limit looking thing at the moment on the screen, so I'm hoping that means I can just take a look around at the moment. I don't want to miss stuff. There we go, like this. Um, honestly, I'm actually, I know that putting on a helmet must give an armor bonus, but like my immersion is broken when the helmet just disappears immediately. It would have been like so cool if there was like a little like particle like effect or something like, you know, like how I made the joke about the whole, the whole nanotech thing. That's how they work around it in the, in the Marvel movies when they just go, yep, just everyone's got nanotech of some kind now. So you can see their faces. Instead of the helmet just disappearing. I mean, I can deal with it. It's not. It's not a deal breaker. Pot integrity. There we go. Thirteen Raptor looks like a new sniper. Find power terminal. Should be nearby. Is it this? This looks the same. This looks the same as what I've seen before. Oh, hang on, power terminal first. Maybe that's different. Yeah. Yes. Scorpion, nice. I don't really need to change stuff right now. Oh, it's that. Still waiting. Rex can't keep his hands off a fertile female. He'll be there. <laughs> I'll see you up top. We found the Krogan. 
You found more than that, bitch. You found me! I'm even worse. Open up. Oh, why? Why? There was a target there. Oh, Javix outside. Oh. What have I done? Oh, are we supposed to go out here? Wait. I just I just shut myself out. I think we're almost there. Oh, I guess we're going up here. Okay. I'm pretty sure we fully explored that area anyway. That was that was fine. Shepard, they found us under heavy attack. You know what I love? Just wanted to pause there just to see what I did is I went to just charge immediately, sorted it out of shield, while prepping slow-mo for the charge, hit overload with Garrus's like shortcut, takes the shield off. BAM! Hitting his health. Like, I love that shit! So much fun. Yeah, I gotcha. Be good, no one else. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, while I have time, I just need to look around. Shepard, don't delay. Please authorize final release. Can't leave otherwise. I know, but there's always missable shit, man. And it's either you give me shit in game for mi for. We waited too long. Server us back. Oh, oh. There you go. There, you actually can wait too long. This is fine. I've got it. Either I miss something and everyone gives me shit, or I do it immediately and you don't give me shit. I can't please everyone! I got you, bud. I got you. I got message received, loud and clear. Shepard, you must authorize release. Pod then transfers to loading area. Let's get you out of there. Ah, oh, I see. Oh fuck. Shepherd, heads up. You've got okay. Oh, it's a big boy in an atlas. Come on guys, I need your A game. Shepard! I can't land until you deal with that thing. It's too dangerous. I got it. Krogan has been acquired. Uh, that's... Can't get out. Stay clear. I've got this. Protect the Krogan, Shepard. She's vulnerable. Yep. Gotcha. Containment shield weakening, Shepard. That's some serious firepower. Maybe we can crack it open. There can be no maybe. Working on it, bud. Shit. Exactly mellowed with age, has he? Bitch. Uh, Morden can't get out. You had me worried there for a minute. I got Let's you, bud. Quick. Oh, he's out. Good. Let's get you out of there. Fair maiden.
<laughs> Hell yeah, dude. I can handle myself, Rex. Women. Great. This is spectacular. Commander, I'm hearing chatter you're brokering a treaty between the Krogan and the Turians. If I get Krogan boots on Palavin, the Turians promise me their support. And how does Cerberus get involved? I don't know. The elusive man is up to something. Then keep them at bay. I can't overstate what a victory this treaty would be for the Alliance. We'll need all the help we can get. How's the Prothean device coming? Alliance R&D has officially begun construction. The team has dubbed it Project Crucible. We're throwing everybody who knows how to hold a hammer at it. This is going to be the most ambitious undertaking in human history. Will we get it done? I'm not saying it won't be a challenge, but our researchers tell me the designs are elegant, massive in scope, but strangely simple as well. We can do this, Shepard. You can do this. Never doubt that. No, sir. Good. Hack it out. Hell yeah. Oh, wow. We're seeing where, uh, hack it is. So I guess that's the crucible thing, that hologram there. Oh, ho, ho, it's getting built. That's a big boy. Check that out. That's progress, baby. I'm very interested to see what that's going to be. It looks similar to a uh, to a Quarian thing. Similar. That's awesome. Um, like similar in shape, it's got like the giant thing. Like seen one of those ships in the migrant fleet. You have the female Rex. A cure for the rest of your people can come later. That wasn't the deal. But Palavin needs your reinforcements now. We can't delay. Unless every Krogan gets the cure, there's no alliance. Morden, how long will it take to finish a cure? Need to synthesize base antigen from female. Also requires healthy male Krogan tissue. We'll need a sample. Rex. You're looking at it. Yeah. Acceptable. We'll need you to remain aboard Normandy for a procedure. Uh, let's hope the food's gotten better. <laughs> Formulating a cure that works for every Krogan sounds like a tall order, Morton. Can you do it? Of course. Similar to Genophage Modification Project. Working against own alterations this time. Not as simple as garbage DNA blocking attachment sites. We'll need to counteract shutdown of redundant nervous system, adjust neurotransmitter levels. Got it. We'll create cure, Shepard. Don't need to worry. Nice. So Rex is going to stay on the Normandy for this, and Morton's going to have to undo what he did. Then get started, Morton, and make it quick. Always do. We'll be in Med Bay if you'd like to speak more. Eve requires tests. Eve? Female's real name unknown. Normandy, a human vessel. Human mythology seemed appropriate under circumstances. Adam and Eve. Just speaking with her. New perspective. Surprising in Krogan. <laughs> now, is there anything else? There's a small matter concerning a ship we've lost contact with. What happened? I'd rather discuss it in private. Turian problems can't even come close to what I've got. I both got issues. What is it? Some of my men went missing. The rest <laughs> of it we can discuss in private. Yeah. <laughs> I'll find you both in the war room. Just be ready to talk. <laughs> Fucking bickering. All right. Cool. So now I know what that room is used for. All right. War terminal. Priority to Chunka, and I'm assuming priority something else. Uh, to Chunka, Turian Platoon. Nice, so we can now actually see the Crucible. Attic and Traverse Krogan team. 
It looks like we can see, what is that? The blue is what's built, and then the red is what needs to be built. Check that out though, that's good That's good stuff. And we got new information. So we've got Priority to Chanka, and we've got Turian Platoon, and Atticon Traverse. Um, great. Eve is indeed the key to curing the Genophage, but creating a cure will take time. Continue to assist Turian and Krogan allies in the fight against the Reapers while the cure is synthesized. Primark Victus has asked for help with a down ship and has provided a nav point on Tuchanka. Land on Tuchanka and investigate. So the Lost Turian Platoon is actually involved with Krogan. And then a Krogan team has gone missing and Normandy has received a nav point with their last known coordinates. Investigate the missing team and find out what happened. Technology. The Crucible. The Mars archives describe a super weapon that the Alliance has named the Crucible, which exploits the technology of Mass Effect relays. Beyond the basic principles, however, researchers know little about how the weapon actually works. One popular theory suggests that since relays can transfer matter and energy across the galaxy with little regard for distance, it may be possible to create a weapon for which range is barely a factor. Duplicating the advanced science used to build the relays has proven difficult, however. If the Crucible were completed, the challenge would become tuning the weapon to kill a Reaper halfway across the galaxy without inflicting unthinkable levels of collateral damage. What mm. is clear is that the Crucible's construction is a massive effort, drawing resources from throughout explored space. Staggering financial costs have been disregarded in the common effort to create something, anything, that can stop the Reapers. Yeah, this is wild. Um... The fact is, we don't know what it's going to do when we make it. We just know that it's a weapon. Like, what if we are, uh, like, to draw a comparison uh, to, like, Halo or something like that, what if we are unknowingly creating a Halo ring and we activate it and it just wipes out all life? Anything in range. You know, what if it just, what if it's a mutually assured destruction weapon where we're like, hey, we're going to fucking let this thing go and it will wipe out everyone. Uh, so that's like collateral damage. Uh, we'll just have to. We will just have to. We'll just have to wait and see, won't we? The Genophage bio weapon was created to end the Krogan. Okay, so unfortunately, while I was in the middle of recording, um, my PC gets the blue screen of death. Unfortunately, you've run into a problem, and we need to restart. As I stare into the blue void, where I have a video uploading to YouTube, where I have a video rendering ready to get uploaded and I'm in the middle of recording so my PC just literally just said triple kill and just took me out luckily OBS does back up a recording when it is prematurely interrupted which is great lost just me in the middle of listening to a codec so we will uh, <laughs> listen to the codec again uh, codec sorry uh, we were in the middle of listening to Sakesh. Uh, we were listening to <laughs> other ones um, before we got before we got rudely interrupted. So we will continue. Uh, I will reread Sakesh. between large oceans and land masses covered in flora, the Solarian homeworld Sakesh is known for its humid climate and lush vegetation. As with the rainforests that once covered Earth. The planet's many forests enjoy a rich biodiversity. The Solarian desire for intellectual stimulation drove them long ago to explore every aspect of their environment, developing ways to thrive without consequences detrimental to their habitat. The areas near major cities and industrial centers are meticulously maintained, with an eye towards ensuring that sunlight penetrates to the ground level and that established paths through the jungle are kept clear for travel. Burn grass, a soil enriching and adaptable weed native to Sirkesh, has become a major export because of its value for terraforming. Wonderful. Um, good to know. So uh, we also unlocked the known associate for Morden Solus, which Morden is more of the Solus same that we do know. Um, and that's that's it. So so brief interruption there, which threw me off guard for a bit. But we have more missions to do. Uh, we've completed a priority mission, so we're going to have a bunch of people to talk to um, on the ship right now. So we're going to run through, talk to everyone on the Normandy, uh, and then probably wrap up the episode uh, as we have, you know, gone on 
for some time. So let's have a chat to Primark Victus. Oh, actually, so, hold on. First thing we should do is check the war terminal so we can have a look at all our new assets. So Alien, the Terminus fleet. So we should have an update for Blue Suns. This private security group is careful to maintain its image as a professional mercenary force. In reality, the Blue Suns have drifted further and further into becoming a full-blown crime syndicate. Despite this, their ruthless tactics are sought after in the Terminus systems. Governor Grothen Paznus. Now, we're going to have a lot of things that I found while uh, checking out systems. So I think what's, what's important is, you know, I check and scan systems off camera because it's literally me just flying around pulsing, running away from Reapers, uh, but the good stuff is when we get added to here and we can read a bunch of it. So the governor of the Batarian colony, Kamala, was outspoken in the early hours of the Reaper assault, blaming the Alliance for the destruction of Batarian convoys that were, in fact, destroyed by the Reapers. Now liberated from his world, the governor has undergone a dramatic conversion. His daily extranet videos rally his formerly conservative xenophobic subjects to embrace the Citadel species as brothers and sisters in arms. Unlike many Batarian politicians, he also avoids micromanaging military affairs, content with inspirational tasks and the logistical nightmare of providing urgently needed relief to Batarian refugees. Uh, Void Devils Fighter Wing. The Void Devils are a recent military creation consisting of Vorcha fighter pilots trained by human and Turian mentors. Though uniformly young by other species' standards, the Devils have laser-like focus on the task of taking out enemy ships. Courageous in the extreme, they are also notably disciplined for Vorcha. During the invasion of their homeworld, the Devils fought hard but ultimately obeyed the order to retreat while the wing was still intact, leaving them alive but burning for revenge. And a Vorcha labor team. A Vorcha with goggles on looks terrifying, by the way. But I mean, less terrifying than those seeing their eyes. But it's, that was very unexpected. The Socialized Watcher were a maintenance and calibration crew on a small scientific outpost orbiting Tyrix. Such skilled labor is rare among Vulture, but not unheard of, since Vulture trained by other species for precision tasks develop finely tuned nerves and sensors. Additionally, this crew can heal cellular damage caused by radiation exposure, which is useful since the crucible is being built where no planet's magnetosphere protects it, and extravehicular activity on its hull is often required. And liquid assets. No war can be fought without a bankroll, and the corporate mavens of Ilium know it. Having escaped the invasion, a so-called Gang of Five is leveraging their staggering financial power to acquire the best talent and materials for the Prothean device. They are doing so in necessary ignorance, believing they are hiring and acquiring parts for a new kind of fusion plant, as the device's existence is a tightly guarded secret. Interesting. Okay, so that's our alien ones in the Alliance. We have the 103rd Marine Division, which is probably an update. Nicknamed the Bridge Burners, Team Zeta are combat engineers who specialize in destroying enemy fortifications in hostile territory. This tight-knit group of men and women are respected for their knowledge, renowned for their tenacity, and infamous in their enthusiasm. Uh, Alliance First Fleet. So we've got the First Fleet. The SSV uh, Agincourt was one of many Alliance ships that saved the colony world Elysium from pirates and slavers during Scillian Blitz in 2167. In order to stay with his vessel and crew, its captain refused promotion after the Blitz. Pull. Pull. Cool. So that's the Alliance. Then on Salarian, we've got Major Kira. He made his mark leading the Salarian uh, STG that helped Commander Shepard stop Saren at Vermeer. Uh, lauded by his superiors and lauded by his superiors? Well, lauded, lauded, I think. I don't come across that word often. For his decisive leadership under fire, Kira, he was promoted and decorated with the prestigious Star of Sarkesh. The Major continues to join missions with his men, believing that nothing substitutes for experience and that the best tactical strategies are planned on the battlefield. Uh, Turian. The threat of Turian firepower once kept entire armies in check. Now the hierarchy's vast fleets and numerous soldiers are needed to win the largest war in galactic history. Oh. Yes. I need to actually highlight the thing. I was like, why is it still staying new? I was like, literally like, it's weird that we have a war asset that's just called Turian. My mind blanked and I needed to actually select the thing. The Turian 79th Flotilla distinguished itself during the Krogan Rebellions when they clashed with Krogan warships above Digeris. The 79th sacrificed themselves in great numbers to bring down Krogan vessels attacking the colony. 
Centuries later, the flotilla continues to rely on speed and stealth to harass the enemy. They run interference, divert fire, and make bombing runs on enemy ground units until anti-air defenses manage to target them. Wonderful. Um, easy. Primarch Victus. Commander. You said one of your ships had gone missing. Crashed, actually. I couldn't speak in front of the Krogan. Our ship went down on Tuchanka. Now they're pinned by an advanced guard of Reapers scouting the planet. What are your men doing there? I'm sorry. That's classified. But it's vital they be rescued. They must complete their original mission. It's a matter of... galactic peace. I'll do what I can. That was an awkward stare. I appreciate stare. your help. And understanding. It was a very intense, long, and awkward stare of do what I can. Uh, classified on Tuchanka. Come on, bud. Give me, give me something. I understand this is a difficult time for you, Primarch. Oh, hold on. If the Krogan help us on Palavan, then I give you my word. Uh, those three we've already checked, so it's these two. Turian ship and after the Genophage cure. Your men that crashed on Tuchanka. How many are there? A platoon. You said their mission was a matter of galactic peace. Why? I'm sorry, Commander. As I said, it's highly classified. Look, if you want me to put my ass on the line, I need answers. I can't tell you. Please understand. Hmm. The Commander is Lieutenant Tarquin Victus. He'll be your contact. Brother? Victus? A brother. My son. Oh, your I son. Needed someone I could trust completely. Mmm. Your son. So this is not only, like, important for you, but personal. And you can't even tell me why. The Solarian Dalatras worries about what the Krogan will do once they're cured. How do you feel? It won't matter if we don't stop the Reapers. But I understand her doubts. The moon you found me on? That's where we made our last stand against the Krogan during the rebellions. They were that relentless. How did it turn out? The Krogan started using asteroids as weapons, directing them against our colonies. We had no choice. The Genophage was our last resort. So yes, Krogan intentions after this war will be a serious concern, but I'd rather have a grateful ally than a resentful enemy. That's true. They, Krogan were literally doing a Thanos and throwing a moon at them. Reaching out to the Krogan for help must be difficult for you. We can't allow the mistakes of our past to cloud the future. Your race and mine were once enemies. The first contact war, as you call it. I was there, dodging shells fired by your navy. But look at us now, standing in a ship of Turian human design, working together. That's right. That's all. Of course, Commander. His son. Rex is here using the computer. He's using Wikipedia. He's learning about stuff. Hell of a show down there on Sir Kesh. Just like the old days, Shepard. Right down to me pulling your ass out of the fire. I was the one with bullets flying at me. And I gave you the moral support to dodge them. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> you said one of your squads is missing. They were scouting out the Rachni Relay. We've heard rumors of trouble in the area. Rachni? Thought that might get your attention. I have a favor to ask. It's big. Don't tell me they're back. All I know I mean... for sure is our scouts went silent as soon as they arrived. I've got Arlac Company, my best unit, on standby. You give the word, and they'll meet you there. I'll see what I can do. Get on it, Shepard. It's interesting that she's she's like, uh, they're back. I'm like, yeah, Shepard, uh, you've you've let the queen go. Remember, we let the queen go. What will you do after the genophage is cured? Once we deal with the Reapers, most Krogan will want to settle a score with the Turians and Salarians. I won't let them. That isn't our path forward. This time will be different. Oh. I don't want to say that. A lot of people will be relieved to hear that. No one wants to repeat history. They know we'd probably win this time. 
<laughs> but war has never brought us anything except misery. It's time to focus on rebuilding. Rex is such a good leader for the Krogan, because he's such a Krogan at heart, but he's not an idiot. And I love that. What's the situation back on Tachanka? I'm still getting scattered reports of Reaper forces arriving. Something big is brewing. I won't let those things take Tuchanka. Not when we're about to cure the genophage. My people have had enough bad luck in our time. Back on Sir Kesh, it looked like the female Krogan could hold her own. Our females don't lack for spirit. For males, a good show of force sorts things out. But females like to talk about it. Then think about it. Then talk about it some more. No offense. Believe it or not, we sometimes have good ideas, Rex. You should try listening. Yeah, but our women have so many of them. So sometimes I pretend to listen and... Well, let's just say Krogan females have tempers too. I love that the way that this is being written is taking the piss out of how, uh, how men normally do this stuff. Like, it's not necessarily... Uh, even poking fun at the whole trope of women talk a lot. It's making a joke at uh, Rex being like kind of the idiot in this in this scenario, which I which I appreciate, uh, and is really funny too. Like it's just like we just do it, but they they talk about it, and they think about it, and then they talk about it more. I don't like that. I got Krogan brain. Want to punch something? <laughs> I love I love it. How could there be trouble with the Rachni? They were all but extinct. The last queen promised to disappear forever or be destroyed. I know, I was there. I've got a bad feeling about this. It may not be Rachni, but maybe it is. Could be another invasion. Mm. Crawling out from under some rock, you know how bad it could get. We need to stop them. It could be Cerberus Rachni experiments, like from Mass Effect 1. That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Anytime. Anytime. Shepard, I like what you've done with the Normandy. Got tired of always hanging around the cargo bay before. I still don't have a window like Liara does, but maybe that's because I don't kiss as well. <laughs> no comment. Yeah. <laughs> I miss this place. Wish I could knock some heads around with you, but duty calls. If the Solarian says my DNA is important, who am I to argue? Ah, I wish he could be in our squad. That's amazing. Also, goddamn hilarious. Because Rex uh, wouldn't know about our romance with Garrus. He's just going off of what he knows from when he was in our squad from Mass Effect One, which is us being with Liara. So he's like, he's commenting on what he knows about our romance, which is uh, actually a very good catch because for him to comment about the Garrus romance would only mean that he would have probably got it like maybe updated on like gossip or something upon getting onto the ship. So I much prefer he's referencing events of that he was present for, which makes, which makes more sense to me. I like that. Do you think Solarians would have a base on their homeworld secured better? Nah, they were solid. Cerberus has Reaper tech. Compared to those upgrades, the Solarians might as well have been throwing rocks. Nice. Commander, we've got new reports of Cerberus activity on Tachanka. I've marked it on the galaxy map. No. Oh. Commander, nice to see you again. How are you settling in, trainer? I actually feel somewhat useful. It's been challenging to integrate data feeds for the War Summit. How are the systems holding? Well, I'm glad we performed stress tests. Specialist Trainer has been extremely helpful. The accuracy of our war room data is a direct result of her work. Thank you, Edie. I'm still getting used to all of this. In the lab, we'd hoard everything, piles of tech everywhere. Out here, it's like living out of a shoebox. <laughs> Life on an active ship always feels crowded at first. You'll get used to it. Oh, it's not a bad thing. I've got no problems getting cozy. <laughs> This is wonderful. Back in the lab, we had to hoard because we had no budget. Now, Edie, Ariaki Tech uses a proprietary smart processing algorithm that could clean up our long-range data. Can we license it? We can. Analyzing and applying the upgrade now. The algorithm should reduce long-range strategic combat data analysis time by 3%. Impressive. If it means getting the equipment I need, 
I can quite happily live out of a shoebox. I would like to just listen to Trainer and Edie have a conversation. Can they recite poetry to me? Can I have both the Elcor Shakespeare play and a Shakespeare play narrated by Trainer and Edie? Lovely voices. Love to hear it. Uh, we got some stuff. Info for you. Hi, Shepard. It's been a while. I'm glad to hear you made it off Earth and that's uh, that Liara's with you. Getting off her old ship was the best thing we could have done. Can't tell you how sick I was of that cabin and of tripping over that drone. I don't even know how it kept finding me in a ship that big, even after I turned off its tracking. I dug up some interesting information for you. Talk with Glyph to sort out the data. I hope it helps, Shepard. It's getting rough out there. Holding the line from Major Kirahi. Commander, it was a pleasure seeing you again on Sukesh, even if the circumstances were less than ideal. It seems fate has decided our meetings coincide with galactic threats. So be it. To that end, I wanted to reiterate that STG will be there to help when the need arises, regardless of the political climate. You were there for us in our hour of need. We look forward to returning the favor. Thanks, bud. ANN Alert, a new article on indoctrination from the Alliance News Network Information Partners. Thessia, a Sari scientist run Athenoptis, has died in custody allegedly committing suicide after she was arrested for the murder of multiple Asari military officials. Prior to her death, investigators said Thanoptis spoke of voices in her head which they believed to be indicative, uh, indicative of her indoctrination. The voices foretold the ascension of the Asari and told Thanoptis that anyone fighting the Reapers needed to die. Thanoptis worked on a top secret... Yeah, this is the Asari that was on Vermeer, and then we ran into her again... Um, where I, I believe it was Dr. Rakia, where we found Grunt, right? It's where we found her again, and we told her, get the hell out of here. Prior to her death, investigators said Thanoptis spoke a voice in her head, needed to die. Thanoptis worked on a top secret project for former Spectre Saren Arteria several years ago, where she likely became indoctrinated. She received a pardon from the Asari government in exchange for providing research assistance on Reaper tech. Thanoptis was believed responsible for planting a makeshift explosive device that detonated at a research center, killing five visiting Asari military officials along with four civilians. The attack seriously wounded a dozen more and caused significant damage to the facility. Investigators say they are not seeking any more suspects in this case. Damn. I should have put her down. I should have put her down. There you go. Well, if it ain't the consequences of my actions, I let her go and she killed others. Obviously, I had no way of knowing that, but there you go. Indoctrinated almost from the very beginning. It was a slow burn. Wild. Uh, interesting. What we're going to do, guys, is we're going to actually bring this episode to a close now after hitting um, just a little bit of time. But next episode, we'll start off immediately uh, talking to the rest of the people on the ship. Uh, we'll hit up everyone uh, for what they have to say. Uh, and then we'll move into our next uh, load of missions. Um, it looks like Tuchanka is uh, one of the places to be right now. Um, and also in the Attican Traverse for the Rachni. So we've got, we've got stuff to do, as always, and we will get to it. So thank you so much for watching this episode of Mass Effect 3, and I will see you next time.